wagons. They pulled our plows. They carried our soldiers as they defended our borders. They carried us across the country and helped build our nation. They've represented wealth and poverty. They have been bred for strength, speed, and stamina. Their bloodlines have created international stars and have been a source of national pride. They have been healers, family pets, and sources of enjoyment. They are national treasures who represent our nation's indomitable spirit and ability to succeed in spite of the odds. What they are not is an invasive species. Biologically, they are the same as the ancient North American horses that freely roamed this continent. They are natives who were returned to their native land. Nor do they destroy the environment. According to the U.S. General Accountability Office, sheep and cattle are responsible for the damage to the ranges, public land, and waterways. 53.8 million acres was designated for the wild horse herds. The herds have been removed by the Bureau of Land Management. They have been herded into pens and sold to slaughterhouses for foreign consumption. Their lands have been sold and made available for privately owned livestock. The Bureau of Land Management was assigned to protect the wild horse and fur population. Yet they continue to violate the nation's trust by putting special interests above the public's welfare. It is time to remember who we are as Americans. By standing up to the greed and corruption, we reclaim the spirit that made our nation strong. I'm Brian St. August, asking you to stand up to the Bureau of Land Management and the special interest groups by demanding that our wildlife be protected. Make a difference by calling and snail mailing your local, state, and federal representatives. It is only by speaking as one that we will save our national treasures from the greed and selfishness of the special interest groups. Please, use your voice to speak for these noble horses that cannot speak for themselves.